Not only soldiers, but members of the Air Corps and Naval Service are among the marksmen with their eye on the target and the big prizes. The FCA competitions were held last Sunday and now is the turn of the regulars. The competitions began a year ago at platoon level and senior officers watched as the best 180 to emerge from those competitions began battling it out at the Curra today. But how important is this training to a commander in an actual combat situation? The Acting Director of Training, Lieutenant Colonel Roger Maloney. Well, this, this is the, the build-up uh, of a man to be very best with his weapon. He's a professional soldier and he has his, his friend the weapon and this is the training. This builds up his, his confidence in his weapon and his marksmanship in his weapon. And that's what his profession is all about. The best marksmen with the light machine gun were also in operation today. And among those with their fingers on the trigger were some previous winners, including Corporal Dermot O'Callaghan of the 23rd Battalion Cork. Well, Dermot, how did you do? Did you hit the target? I certainly hope so, anyway. Yeah. And how do you think you're doing in this competition? Uh, just fairly well. They're not, not doing as well as I'd expect to do, but and there are thereabouts at the moment. You're a previous winner of this uh, competition, yeah. of course. Five years ago, yeah. 1976. What's the competition like this year? The uh, standard is, is very, very high. It's, last year and this year have been, have been extremely high. Well, you've been abroad. You've been in Lebanon, is that right? That's right, three years ago. Do you find that um, uh, these competitions uh, give you greater confidence when you're in an actual uh, combat situation? Uh, of course they would, yeah. In the, the, if, if you're confident in your handling of the weapon, you're, you're confident of that weapon when you have to use it in active service. Today was an all-male occasion. The Army's first women soldiers have been trained in the use of small arms, but not for combat. And we'll have to wait until next year to see if Mark's women will be allowed to challenge the Mark's men. Meanwhile, the competitions continue tomorrow, and only then will it be known where all of this year's honours have gone.